Hi, hello guys. This is Sharad Chandar K. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we will create a beautiful analog clock from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Without wasting your time, let's dive into a quick demo. In this demo, I am going to demonstrate something timeless. Here you can able to see the analog clock. This is how our end results look like. Inside this analog clock, we have displayed almost everything like what was the current date month and then year and then right below we have set the current day year and then in the right hand side we have showed the session based on the time if it is a am or pm this is a very good project to understand how the javascript date object is working we have done a calculation to find the degree and set the clock rotation based on the time by the end of this tutorial you will have a powerful analog clock which will upgrade your JavaScript knowledge to next level. That's all for the demo. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe for more coding tutorials and tech content. Your subscription is a vote of confidence and it enables us to keep producing high quality informative video that you can learn and enjoy with your friends. Let's build our own. Here I have already created a project folder name called analog clock. Let me open this into my favorite code editor Visual Studio Code. I will drag this directory into a Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code will automatically load all the files into it. Inside that directory I have already created a three files name called index.html, style.css and script.js. If you want this empty project structure I have added a github repo start cloning and work with me so inside that index.html will add the html boilerplate for that we have a embed abbreviation type exclamation mark and it enter it will automatically create a html boilerplate and then we'll change the title to analog clock by sharachandar k and then we'll link other two files into the index.html for that we have another embed abbreviation with link colon css if i hit enter it will automatically create a style sheet with the help of href and then style.css a link tag defines a relationship between current document and an external resource and then we'll link the script.js for that we have another abbreviation with script colon src if i hit enter it will automatically create a script tag with the source attribute we need to manually type the file name for us we have a script.js script tag is used to embed on client side script or it points to an external script file through the source attribute and then we'll add the differ keyword here differ is an boolean attribute this will help us to execute the script file after the page has finished parsing now we'll start adding the html into the body body element contains all the content of an html document so inside that we'll add the div div tag defines a division or a session into an html document for that we have a abbreviation with div dot clock if i hit enter it will automatically create a div with a class attribute with the value of clock so first we'll style the clock design so for that i will jump into the style.css here we'll add the asterisk asterisk is an while code that means all element we need to set margin padding to all element for that i have set the margin of 0 px and then padding should be 0 px and then font family should be poppins secondary font family should be sans serif and then box sizing should be border box i have added the import url for the font family poppins and then we'll set the background color to the entire body so for that we are going to set these styles to this particular body so we have a selector called body and we'll set the background color with light blue color now let us see our html file in action for that in visual studio code we have a extension called go live if you hit this it will automatically start the server into the default browser now you can able to see the background color of the index.html what is live server 
generally when we make any changes into our code to see those changes we need to manually refresh the page right for that live server come into the picture whenever we save or we modify something the live server will take and care and it will automatically refresh the page for that instead of light blue color i will change this background color to red if i save now it will affect automatically into the browser with the help of live server so i will undo this if i save it again now you can able to see the changes immediately that is how the live server will work and then as we said we are going to style the clock for that we have set this view with the value of clock with the help of class with this class selector we are going to style that div so for that first i will set a background color and then we'll set the width of 300 px and then height of 300 px if i save now you can able to see the clock design with that background color of light gray and i will set the border radius to 50 px because this should be circle for the clock and then i will set the border 10 px solid with light black color if i save now you can see the border radius with the border and then we'll set the position of relative and we'll set the clock center of the screen if you want to learn how to center a div four easy methods i have already added a video in the code please do check it out for this i will set a margin 8 percentage or to and then zero if i save now you can able to see this center of the screen if you want more center you can able to change this for now this is enough for me and then we'll set the box shadow to it so for that box shadow with the help of 2 vw 4 vw with the help of rgba color i will set all the values to zero and then all for should be 0.8 now you can able to see the box shadow to the clock right and then next thing we'll add the dot to it so for that i will go here inside the clock again we have a abbreviation to create a div with the class attribute with the help of dot and then value if i eat it will automatically created a class with the attribute at the value of dot so now again i will jump into the style.css I will start creating the dot style here I will set the width of 12 px and then height of 12 px and then background color should be light gray color if I save now you can see the dot here now we need to set this dot into the center of the clock so for that I, before I will set the border radius this should be circle and then we'll set margin auto see now you can see this inside the clock because we set the margin to auto and then we'll set the position to absolute and then we'll set left 0 right to 0 top 0 and then bottom also 0 if i save now you can see the dot into the center of the clock and then we'll add the shadow to it for that we'll do the same property with box shadow 0 2 px and then for right hand side 4 px and then left minus 1 px with black if i save now you can able to see the shadow to the dot so now again i will jump into the index.html and will add the current date month and year and will set the day and then the session for that we are going to add the information with the help of div i will add the div inside that as i said we are going to set the three values inside the clock so we need to create the three div for that we have a abbreviation with dot info asterisk 3 if i eat it will create a three div with the class attribute inside that we are going to change of date and then day and then session this is the three values we are going to show here so again i will jump into the style.css and will start styling this here we have a info we need to set this all the three divs inside the clock right so again i will go here 
and I will start adding dot info and will set the position of absolute and then we'll set the background color light gray color now if I save nothing will happen because I need to set the width width of 65 px still nothing will happen okay I will go here and I will add the value of current date 25 November 2023 and then there should be Saturday and then session should be p.m. if I save now you can able to see this three value right and then we'll set the font size to 10 px we'll add the border radius 5 px we have added a three divs but only we can able to see the p.m. because we have set the styles to absolute all the divs in the top of this see all the three divs is there now we'll split this into the clock so for that we'll again i will set this text align center and then we'll add the inner spacing of padding should be 5 px if i save now you can able to see this we'll split this div to three sides so for that we have segregated the values into the three different classes so i will set that date first with the value of top 55 px if i save now you can able to see this then i will set the left to 100 px no, it should be left mode i'll set this to 105 px so it should be center of this dot so the same thing i will add for the day also again dot day and then top should be already we have set this 55 so i will set to 150 px if i save now it will be here so i will set more 200 now you can able to see this and then left should be 105 because already we have set this center of the div then now we need to set this session to the right hand side so we have a separate class on that dot session again we'll set the top to 120 px and then write 30 px and then we'll set the width 30 px this is how our clock look like and now we'll add the clock ands to it for that again i will jump into the index.html again i will add the div inside that again we need to set this three divs because we have a hour minute and second for that we have a abbreviation with dot and asterisk 3 if i eat it will automatically create a 3 div with the help of and and we'll add the subclass value hour and and then minute and and then this was second and and then now we'll style this ands so again i will jump into the style.css after the dot with the help of and div will set this and into the center of the screen so for that again we'll set the position of absolute and we are going to set all the ands into the center of the screen for that i will add left 50 percentage so before that we need to see this so i will copy this our and and then minute and and then we'll set to the second and so for this our and i will set the width 4 px and then height of 65 px then background color should be black now if i save now you can able to see the our and the same thing will add for the others so now you can able to see all the three ands so for that we'll change the width and height based on the ands anyway the our and should be small and then minute and is bigger than the hour and and then second and should be bigger than the minute and so for that we'll set the minute and to 100 px and then second and would be 120 px so i will change the color to to differentiate what the and is so i will set this to light black and i will change this to red and anyway the second and i will reduce the width of 2px now you can able to see this if I zoom it now we'll set the position of each ands so for that again i came here into the hour and i will set the top of 
70 bx and mini tend also top of 70 px so it will be went outside because this height is different so i will reduce to 40 px and then second and also top of 20 px see now we can able to see all the ands its point to the dot i will set the z index of 5 and here z index of 6 and here z index of 7 if i save it will overlap it so then it was not placed on the dot so we'll add some margin margin of left to minus 2 px so if i save now you can able to see the our hand it is perfectly placed on the dot so the same thing we copied and paste it into the minute also if i save now it will be the perfect and i will go here and again i will paste it here and I will change this to 1px because this with this 2px. So if I save now, you can able to see all the ants it was placed at the dot perfectly. So now I will add some design to this and to style this and like arrow. So again, I will go into the and and I will set the border top left radius to 50 percent each. So if I save now. You can able to see it was reduced to 50 percentage so again i will copy the same thing and i will paste it below and i will change to right so if i save now you can able to see this is like an arrow we need to send this ands back side of the dot right so again i will go and copy this z index and i will jump to the dot and i will set this z index to 10 if i save see now it was placed backside the dot it was overlapped because of this z index so now we'll add the transform origin to each ands so for that i will came here into the upper hand and i will set the transform origin 50 percentage and then 69px if i save and then we'll add the same thing to the minutes and two i will go here and i will set this these things to 99 because this height was different so again i will add this into the seconds and then second hand should be different origin position to 124 so then we have added the info of what was the current date and we added the ands to it and now we need to set the intervals so for that again i will jump to the index.html and I, I will add the another div with number cycle so if i hit enter it will create a div with the class attribute with the value of number cycle with the help of this we are going to create the number cycle based on the seconds so i will go here and i will save this now i will jump into the script.js to add the number cycle because this is a dynamic so for that in the script.js first we need to declare the declaration with the help of document what is document console.log document if i save if i hit f12 now you can see this document is the owner of all other object in your web page if you want to access any element in the html page you always start with accessing the document object so with the help of this document object we are going to set the declarations so for that i will go here first i will add the const of our and so document dot query selector because we are going to get these values based on the selector values so we have another option also to get by id so for now we have added as a class with the help of this we can get the element so if I, again i will do the console dot log if i save this is null because as i said this is a query selector we have added only the name we have not defined this is a id or class for that we need to mention with dot if it is class we need to set as a dot else if it is id we need to set the asterisk if i save now you can able to see the our hand so if i change to second if i save now you will get the second hand right this is how the document will work if you want to learn more about document 
please let me know in the comment box i will create a separate course on that with the help of document i will add all the declarations so i will copy this as we know we have a three ands already we have added a hour and we'll change this to minutes and we'll change these things to second so i will go into the index.html and i will copy this class selector value and i will change here and i will copy this second and i will change here too now we have added the declarations to the hours and then we have set this value as static these things we need to change dynamically right so for that also we can declare the declarations with the help of that we'll change the values so i will copy this again we have a three options one is date and i will again this is a query selector of class i will add with dot date and again day with the help of query selector with day and then session we have declared info element as well as the ands so now we need to declare the number cycle too so i will copy this again we go and add document dot query selector with the help of dot now we'll add the functions what is function function is a block of code designed to perform a particular task with the help of function keyword we'll set the name called short time so if i save that's all for the declaration now as we create number cycle we need to set the number cycle to the clock right so for that i will add a event listener for window dot add event listener with the help of load with function what is add event listener with load so whenever the window will load this event listener will fire if i save now you can see the console.log of 1 so whenever the window is loaded we need to set this number cycle to here so for that i am going to create a for loop as we know in the clock we have a 60 seconds right for that i am going to add this intervals with the help of for loop so i will go and add the for loop i will change the index to i and i will change the array dot length equal to 60 as we know we have a 60 seconds and then i will add a console dot log of i so if i save now you can be able to see 0 to 59 so for that i will change this i to 1 and then less than equal to 60 if i save this now we can able to see 1 to 60 with the help of this we are going to add the intervals inside the clock so for that what i will do we need to set this 1 to 3 into here so for that we are going to add this number into this number cycle so again inside this we have a option to create a element with the help of document so i will add a let of span document dot create element and we are going to add the span tag so this span tag i will directly add into the number cycle dot append child so i will set here before saving i will go here and i will check that particular span tag is there anything else is there see now this is number cycle is empty if i save now you can able to see the span tag here up to 60 right we need to add these intervals into the clock so for that we'll add the styles to that so here we have a option to add the attribute span dot set attribute and then class called interval so if i save now you can see the span tag with the attribute with the value of interval we need to set the design to this interval so for that i will jump into the style.css here we are going to add the styles to that particular span tag we'll set the position to absolute and then it will show that index of 2 and then we'll set the left 50 percentage and then we'll set the margin left minus 5px and then we'll set the transform origin 50 percentage and 138px then we'll set top of minus 1px if i save you can't see anything so we need to set the color now you can see all the span tag in top of the and so previously it was somewhere else we have added the styles now it's came into this 
particular position so then we need to style that interval so i will copy this interval class name and i will add the styles to it so what i will do i will add the width of 1px and then i should be 10px will set the background color of light black color if i save now you can able to see the color here all the span tag in the one position and then we'll set the margin left again with minus 1px so it should be exactly straight on that ants now we have created the dynamic ants we need to set this seconds based on the clock position right so here how we need to set these things as we know the clock is in 360 degree right we need to set this 360 degree based on the seconds for that i will go to the calculator as we know the clock has 360 degree and we divided into 60 seconds so because we have total 60 seconds if i hit enter we will get a value of 6 so we need to rotate this pan tag of each 6 point right so for that again i will go here now i will add this pan tag dot style i will set the styles to transform to rotate 6 degree so if i save what will happen see now you can able to see the 6 degree it was set for the first so we need to set this degree for each pan tag for that I will add a console.log as we know we have 6 degree so for that already we have the 60 seconds so what I will do I will set i into 6 if I save see now you can see the calculation here 6 12 18 till 360 this calculation we need to set for each degree so I will cut this and I will concatenate the values directly to here if I save see now you can see this how cool is this right so here yes, some design issues there that will fix later now we have set this seconds degree so we need to set the numbers too based on the number user can able to understand where the clock is running so if it is 12 it will start with 12 o'clock 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so we need to get that numbers so for that we have a option to get that I divided by 5 if I save now you can get this so for that with the help of this we need to set the numbers based on the clock timing so for that what I will do I will go here and I will add a if condition I percentage 5 if this came will add the interval class else will set the span tag in an HTML equal to I slash 5 so if I save now you can see this as I said this is a 12 o'clock 1 2 3 so based on this we have set this value right now we'll go and fix this design issue over here so for that I will jump into the style.css so I will increase this border radius for the clock to 14 px yeah now this is fixed right now you can see this values 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that's all for the design now we'll jump into the script.js and we'll add the functionalities to set these values as dynamic so i will add the console.log new date this is the date object with the help of this if i save nothing will happen as i said this is a function we need to invoke or we need to call it then only it will be execute I have invoked this into a window.onload and now we'll get the values for the current date and time. With the help of this, we are going to change all the values dynamically. First, we'll set the current date. The value of late current date equal to new date. And then with the help of this, we are going to set the date object to here. So I will go here already we have created a date declaration with the help of this date dot text content equal to if I set something it will change see now you can able to see this is dynamically changed we need to get this value and directly we can set to the date element so for that we have the current date dot 
get date object and then if I save now you can see the date is 22 and then we'll concatenate the values with current date dot get month is there if I save now you can able to see 22 10 right now we are in the November month then why it is showing 10 because the date object get month is start from 0 we need to add this plus 1 so if I save now you can get this exit month value and then again we will concatenate the values with current date dot get full year now if I save now you can get the current date 2211 and 2023 and then now we'll set the current day year before that we need to add the weekdays array year so here we'll add the array of weekdays with the help of week numbers like sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so i will copy this again we have already created a day declaration with day dot text content equal to if i set weekday with the value of 1 I will get Monday if I set 2 I will get Tuesday so we can easily get the weekday with the current date so with the help of current date current date dot get day so if I save get day is not a function sorry this is not a weekday this is a current date if I save now you can able to see right now we are in the Wednesday right we need to increase the space so I will jump here I will set this info width of 68 so now you can able to get the space around it for the day 2 and now as we generated dynamically for date month and year and with the current day now we need to set this session 2 again I will jump into the script.js so before that we need to get the hours minutes and seconds so for that we have a option already with the date object I will create a let declaration with hours equal to current date dot get hours I will do a console dot log of hours if I save now you can get this 13 because it will return a 24 hours value so we can convert this later this is how the values 0 to 23 and then will get the minutes equal to current date dot get minutes if again i will console dot log now this is 17 so this will get like 0 to 59 and then same thing for seconds equal to current date dot get seconds this also 0 to 59 if i save now you can get this one o'clock 17 minutes and 51 seconds if again i will refresh it will change so now based on this we need to get this session so for that i will go here and i will get the hours if hours double equal to zero then we'll set the hours to 12 o'clock if hours greater than 12 we'll set hours equal to hours minus 12 because we are getting a 24 hours we need to convert this to 12 hours so if I reduce to minus 12 now we will get the current time 1 o'clock 18 minutes and 47 seconds so with the help of this we will get the session 2 so again we have a option to set the session like we have already added a session dot text content equal to we will add the session here with the help of let session equal to hours greater than equal to 12 then it is pm else if it is am so i will copy this session to text content directly if i save now you can able to see the pm and i will go here in the index.html and i will remove the static value here if i save now you will get the dynamic values with the help of date object now we have set this date month and year and we have set the date also and we have set the session to then the pending is we need to tweak this clock right for that we need to find the degree based on this we can tweak this clock first we need to find the degree so for that i will add one more let declaration with h degree 
hours degree and I will copy this same for minute degree and seconds degree and I will console.log here here first we need to find the hours degree based on the time so for now as we know right now we are in the one o'clock right with the one o'clock the first and hour should be in this particular degree rotation so for that how we calculate this degree based on the time as we know how we can find the hours degree each hour mark on the clock represent 30 degrees you know how that is as we know already we have a 360 degree in the clock rotation will divide by 12 we have a 12 hours if I hit enter now we will get this value of 30 so what I will do I will go here and I will add hours into 30 if I save now we'll get the 30 and we have an option to set the degree here for that we have already added a declaration with our and dot style dot transform equal to rotate to 30 degree right if we calculate hours equal to 30 1 equal to 30 this should be 30 degree if it is a 2 o'clock this should be 30 into 2 60 degree now it's set to 2 o'clock if it is 3 o'clock it will be 90 degree now it will be 3 o'clock so based on this we will get the degrees the hour degree will also moves with the minutes so every minute it will moves 0 0.5 degree right how we know this is 0 0.5 degree because as we know already per hour it will rotate for 30 degree right if it is a 30 degree will divide by 60 minutes because we have a 60 minutes if I hit enter now we will get this 0 0.5 if it is every minute it should be rotate for 0 0.5 degree now we are in the 130 pm for example if it is 30 into 0 0.5 so what I will do for that I will go here if it is a 30 minutes into 0 0.5 if I say equal to 15 now we will change the degree to 45 now you can able to see this in between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock clock will show it will be reach around 2 o'clock right this is how the clock will calculate based on the minutes too for that again I will add this minutes with the help of minutes into 0 0.5 if I save this is 45 degree I will set this dynamic so I will add the concatenation here with the h degree if I save now you can able to see this right now the time is 130 so this should be in between 1 and 2 the same thing we need to calculate for minutes degree as well as for seconds degree too so again I will jump into the minutes degree so here as we know each minutes mark on the clock represent 6 degree as we know we have 360 degree and then divided by 60 minute then this is 6 we can multiply this minutes into 6 if I save nothing will happen I will set the styles to other two elements this is minutes and and this is second and and will change this to minutes and and this should be second and if I save now you can able to see the time is 127 I will add the time to here to now this so if I save now you can see now the time is 1 hour 27 minutes 29 seconds this is what this 43.5 degree for hour and 162 for minute and then the minute and also moves with the second so for every second it moves 0 0.1 how again I will open the calculator as we know already the minutes degree it will rotate 6 degree for each minute the same as we can calculate this 6 divided by 60 seconds right if I say equal to now we will get 0 0.1 based on the seconds the each minute will rotate then only we will get the time right so again I will go here and I will add this with seconds multiply by 0 0.1 if I save now we are in the 171.5 because the time is 128 so based on the seconds it will be rotate and now we'll add the seconds degree each mark on the clock represent six degrees for the seconds that we already knows so directly we can say 
seconds into 6 if I save every time you will get the seconds if I refresh every time the seconds will running so this is how the degree will work so here we have some style collapse is there so we have set this we need to manually refresh every time no right we have a option to set the interval that is very easy step so based on the interval it will tweak all the time for each second so as we already know we have the show time with 1000 second if I save now you can see the magic see now you can get all the times with the degrees to here now here the styles rotation is going outside of the dot so for that I will go to the style.css here we have the top of 20px so if I go here and I will insert this now you can able to see this so with the help of style we can able to check where it is present so I will reduce the top to set the exact position of the dot I will reduce to 13 now that is exactly pointing to that dot so it will run inside the dot so and then I will change here to 13 px if I save if I refresh now you can see the clock the current date and with the current day with the current session for each second it will be moved for 0.1 degree of the minute and then minute 0.5 second for every rotation of the hour this is how the clock calculation will work if you are interested in javascript projects i have created a playlist called javascript project for beginners to advance i have added a link in the description please check it out that's all for the video thank you so much for watching until next time keep coding and keep learning see you in the next video happy coding bye for now have a nice day